Well, what better way than to start out the video with this 201 Singer Rotary from 1957. This is my potted motor version 201 Singer. You can find this machine without the potted motor. It will have a belt and external motor, but it won't have the light in the front. The light will be in the back. But anyways guys, falling into spot 17, 1957 201 Rotary. And here, the Spartan. This is a 1960 192K Spartan. This is also a singer, takes the 66 class bobbins just like the 99K. As a matter of fact, they are identical machines. As you can see, I took the bobbin winder and the stitch length indicator off of a 99 and put it on my Spartan. If you guys want to see a video on that, go check it out. But that would make number 18 in my collection. The 1960 192K Spartan Oscillating Hook. And how about this Model 20 Chain Stitch? I can't really give you a year on this Singer sewing machine, but this is a kid sewing machine. All steel, but it's a real sewing machine. It works. It's got a little presser foot arm there, but it's a real sewing machine. This is the 19th sewing machine in my collection, and here's an idea of how small it is. <laughs> there you go, guys. The Model 20 Singer Chain Stitch. Moving away from the Singers once again, you're looking at a German-made FAF 332, manufactured in 1957. Now I can't say that this is a 1957 model, that's why I put it at the end of the list. That's right guys, this is the end of the list. Number 20. That's taken up the 20th spot is my FAF 332. This is my favorite machine and what a way to end it and show you all this gorgeous features it has. It has a drop down deck, make it a free arm, it has a little lever makes the light bulb come down in case you need to change it. It has a little door here for additional decorative stitch if you don't think that these ones are enough. You've got your feed dog drop down here and for servicing to make it easy there you go. And this entire mechanism comes out with four screws and you can service that as well. The cleated belt broke on me so in the future when I get one I'll make a video on that you want to see another cool feature built-in thread uh, needle threader Isn't that cool anyways guys there you go 20 machines in my collection and falling in the 20th spot is my FAF 332 and uh, I'll say it's between 1957 and 1960 Anyways guys, thanks for watching. I'm glad you guys came along with me and counted up my machines because I wasn't quite sure how many I had. And I want to give a big thank you to all my subscribers. All the ones that have been here since the beginning. I really appreciate it. And all my new subscribers as well. Don't think I haven't been noticing you. That's right. I've been noticing you. Anyways, thank you to all you guys. I appreciate it for leaving comments and thumbs up. And, uh, and subscribing. Until next time, guys, stay safe, and I'll talk to you soon.